For my focus scientist, I chose Jane Goodall. Although Dr. Goodall has a PhD in ethology, she is a primatologist, or someone who studies both living and extinct primates in order to understand aspects of their evolution and behavior. Dr. Goodall is by far the most famous primatologist for her work in Tanzania, but we will get to that in a little bit. The reason I chose to do my project on Dr. Goodall is because I have grown up admiring her work. Like Dr. Goodall, I grew up with a love for animals. For me, that would mean reading National Geographic magazines, watching Planet Earth, or visiting the Minnesota and Como zoos. When she would make appearances on National Geographic, I would listen very intently on what she would have to say about conservation and her work with chimps. Jane's love for science and animals began when she was young. As she puts it, she was fascinated by animals from when she first learned to crawl. Her parents knew this right away. On her first birthday, they gifted her with a stuffed monkey. For years, that monkey never left her side, and still hasn't to this day. Her first observational study came when she was five years old. This included watching chickens to learn how they laid eggs, and watching your dog to understand how animals also have personalities and emotions. Some of her hobbies growing up would include observing animals, as well as reading Dr. Doolittle and typing research papers. One of the first obstacles she had was college. Not getting in, but affording it. She decided to become a typist at Oxford University, not studying, but working. She worked until she could afford a trip with her friend to Africa. It was there that she would meet S.B. Leakey, an archaeologist and paleontologist who hired her as an assistant based on her attitude and energy. Leakey eventually sent her to Tanzania to study evolution patterns in chimpanzees. This is where her story would begin. In Tanzania, Dr. Goodall sat and observed chimps for years. Her two biggest discoveries while there was the communication system between chimps and also how chimps use sticks and stones as tools. At this time, it was believed that to be man meant you had the ability to use tools. It was Dr. Goodall's discoveries that redefined what it meant to be man. After years in the field, Leakey found a way for Dr. Goodall to attend Cambridge where she became one of eight people to attain a PhD without an undergrad. After getting her PhD, she returned to Africa to focus on conservation. She created the Jane Goodall Institute, which helped to teach health and conservation to the local communities about chimps. In 2002, Goodall was named a United Nations Messenger of Peace for her work. Her latest paper, released in May of 2007, was titled The Contribution of Long-Term Research at Gaum National Park to Chimpanzee Conservation. The goal of this study was to see how her efforts of teaching the locals about conservation had paid off. Her findings were remarkable. Even after some deforestation that had happened prior to her setting up the institute, the chimpanzee population had leveled off and was even starting to increase. This meant that all the time and effort she had put in during her life to contribute to the success of another species, our closest relative was paying off.